Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trade, and we strongly recommend to get educated before you start using real life money. We're going to start with the precision auto trade, and uh, we start with the NASDAQ. Uh, we were done by 10 o'clock uh, on the NASDAQ 39 seconds. The closer we are coming to the Thanksgiving, the slower the market is going to be, so we will be using a lot of second charts. Uh, on the YM, 47 seconds. We were done also by 10.30, 1300. This is the CL7 range. What is amazing, there is no losing trade. One, two, three, four. No, actually there is one losing trade five six small losing trade and seven hit it was done by 12 30 12 90 on the seven range this is the t the sec uh, the 10 second es we always highlight the, the the es on the 10 second we did two rounds today on the 10 second and this is the last round uh for today and it just closed the position. On the five range ES, you can trade the precision auto trade on any kind of instruments, any chart, any time frame. On the five range is very stable. Also, we did two rounds on the five range today. This is the last round in the afternoon. He has 28 seconds. This is what is uh, beauty about uh, the precision. A trade with the trend and reverse. It was done. It was done by 10.36 morning. One hour in the trade. He has three minutes. We had one losing trade, one winning trade. And this is the afternoon session. And it was done at 1500. NASDAQ three minutes was done by 11 o'clock, almost 2000, 1960. CL10 range. Look, this is a beautiful. Took a trade, then took the opposite direction, 1400. Beautiful trade. We have the uh, CL and it is 1100 and the ES three minutes. Then we have the 45 second, the 45 second CL took a lot of trades. All the CL today took a lot of trades. It was done by one o'clock. It was done by 10.30, uh, the NASDAQ, three minutes, CL, the second round, and it was done by 3.30, and then the CL, 1100, 2800 on the ES, this was a beautiful trade in the afternoon, two minutes, uh, 2300 on the the two minutes and the three range lately the three range is doing a great job this is the afternoon session 1700 and the es 30 second uh, the afternoon session 1850 uh, we we'd like to uh, cover uh, the ti7 Uh, the TI7 is, uh, you can swing trade the scalping and uh, there is a big variety of entries and filter and uh, this is the gold 10 range. It was done by 1012. It's no longer, uh, we, we like to finish as soon as possible. And you can have another template for the afternoon session if you want to do that. 
a lot of a trade on 11 range but the nail 2100 Uh, the CL13 range, 2,000 even, all of them on $1,000 target. NASDAQ, 4 minutes, 3,000. This is a beautiful. CL, 3 minutes. You can use as many contracts as you want. If you can afford it, you can go from 1 to 10, 20, 30, depends the, the amount of money you have. You can swing trade, you can scalp the market. So this is the CL. And uh, uh, this is uh, the ES, beautiful trade at the end. ES1 minute 2700 beautiful afternoon session template uh, the five minutes 20 2000 and then uh, the CL540 takes is 1370 NASDAQ 12 range you can see you can use a smaller time frame or you if you want to you can use a smaller uh, you can use a high time frame or a smaller time frame, whatever you want. Uh, NASDAQ, this is 12 range. And um, this one can, uh, the higher the time frame is, uh, the less noises you get if the market is moving. And uh, when we are going towards the Christmas, it will be, I think, much better to the market will not be trending that much so it will be smart to use a smaller time frame get a little money and get out really uh, CL 55 second if you want to trade the smaller time frame here it is uh, nine range CL lately the CL is doing a great it's back on track NASDAQ 30 second, 36 second, 38 second, I'm sorry. It did very well, 1960. Uh, the ES 30 second we did, ES five minutes. And then uh, we have the ES one minute. CL 500 for the tick lover, because uh, every trader have his magic number, but um, 540 ticks is an excellent chart 12 range is an excellent chart for nasdaq he has 455 ticks excellent but it was right on the spot 1000 and cl 55 a second i like to bring uh, the scalper the scalper also is a total a different automated to trade On the scalper five minutes we got uh, uh, 1340 and uh, this is beautiful on the gold we start taking the gold on uh, the scalper also uh, it's a scalping so you don't see big trades on the scalping also this is a scalping is an idea when uh, the market is gonna start slowing down a bit George Christmas and Thanksgiving that would be good idea to be light a trader get whatever you can out of the market and get out you know and protect your uh, your profit because you cannot uh, keep trading 24 7 this is not realistic uh, and you can use a higher time frame if you want you can use a smaller time frame you can do whatever you want on it we provide a good education how to use the auto trade and uh, a little bit knowledge of the market movement it is very important to understand the market movement in the market before you start your auto trade it's very important to uh, to look at the market if it's a trending or not or maybe it is a smart 
to wait five minutes till the market maybe get out of a hole somewhere and then you start auto trading it is very important to understand ninja trader platform uh, some of some of them they try to go live with a with the auto trade and they don't even know how to control a platform ninja trader platform that is a disaster because you have to know what you're doing it's not hard to learn it's very easy friendly the cl5 and then uh, we have uh, also es5 range is doing a great scalping and uh, we still have in a trade uh, the ES three minutes is about to close there we go it close uh, 2000 white on the spot so uh, this is a totally different auto trade and then we have a different automated the trade is a signal automated the trade a signal automated the trade uh, have uh, five different automated trades a signal um, you enter the market on the signal on the pullback re-entry you can use an ATM strategy and uh, uh, right now this is a base on the last entry signal not the whole day the top is the minis and then you can see at the bottom section here is the micro account which uh, you know you see seven dollars eight dollars one dollar those are micro account at the bottom on the top those are the mini so the bottom section there is not much money in there because it's all based on one contract but based on the last entry you have 1500 ticks because of the micro accounts and it is 5700 in profit based on one contract as you see you don't need to trade all of them this is a very popular question do i have to trade all of them no you don't you can trade es nasdaq down zones only if we look at the es there is 1200 based on one contract the nasdaq it is 376 takes based on one contract 1890 and the ym it is 147 takes 720 based on one contract so this is a superb also this kind of auto trade uh, does not require any optimization and also you can use it on uh, one minute two minutes three minutes or you can use it on 15 seconds does not require any optimization you cannot optimize that system and uh, what it is on the auto trade you can trade it based on when the signal fire on a one minute or 15 second on the first fib line you can re-enter the market re-entry the market pull back re-entry reverse so this uh, signal this one here is coming from the 15 second and the same time you can put the fib line and then if you want it you can start cover some of your profit as an example to the next fib line for the guy is uh, have a little knowledge with the trading it's a very enjoyable to trade because the the system take the trades for you on the signal and you can manage your trade you can secure your profit and then when the market is trending this auto trade extend the target automatically again if this this is not like the other auto trades if this market is trending it's going to extend the target automatically for you you don't have to do anything so this is enjoyable for a guy who knows what he's doing for a guy who don't know what he's doing he probably he just keep looking at the pnl don't know what to do so there is a huge big variety we are very high advanced uh, uh, with auto trades we're not just a dummy uh, atr or a macd you know put it together with with a super glue call it auto trade those they don't exist anymore in turn and it's going to be much harder next year those dummy indicators uh call auto trades uh that will not survive they're not surviving now but that will not survive next year 
uh, the technology has changed the internet has changed uh, the big companies they have a smart algorithm you cannot come in on a donkey uh, auto trade 20 years old out of date and try to uh, to compete with some people using high advanced auto trades those days are long over many years ago and um, also it's very important the education the education not to learn a price action oh god forbid no we're not doing this but to educate yourself how this market is trending before you start using your auto trade you need to kick the tires around to see if is everything okay before you start turning on the auto trade that can save a lot of damage to your account if you see the market is sideways uh, or you see the market is stuck in a channel you maybe you need to wait five minutes ten minutes and then you turn on your auto trade you know this is does not hurt if it can save you a couple hundred dollars a day to start with that's fifty thousand dollar a year so it is very important to have everything on autopilot but we cannot ignore uh, looking a little bit on the technical side to see if this market is trending or not at the beginning of the session if you are trading at eight o'clock you just look at the chart for five minutes the technical chart to see if there's any major fibs this es is bump into uh, if uh, if we are looking as an example on the market analyzer let's say if this market is not in sequence if let's say the es and nasdaq and down zones they're not in the same direction that's mean there is a foul play in the market and you need to hold on a little bit until the es nasdaq down zones uh, is in sequence once they start lining up together and the 30-year treasury bond is on the opposite direction you have a winner or in another word the market is trending smoothly sometimes in the morning you see the es is going one direction sell position and then as that go in long position the ym in between it is a just like a drunk driver with one headlight with no steering wheel no brakes is a matter of time before he crashed you do not again whether you are using our system or anybody else system despite all this marketing out there if you don't look at your technical chart this is honest to god true this is not a sell talk if you don't be trained to look at your technical chart before you start auto trading in the morning you're just wasting your time and mine you cannot just turn on an auto trade and close your eye you cannot close your eye on your money in any kind of business you don't turn on your life account on something or you don't start anything without open both of your eyes making sure you have covered all the corner it's like the pilot when he flies he goes around the airplane he has an autopilot on his airplane he go around he check up everything if it's normal from the outside then he get in if something happened to the autopilot he knows how to take over you you, you don't just jump in on an airplane without going around the airplane kicking the tires looking at inside the engine looking at the structure looking at the, if there's any damage from outside you don't just get in on an airplane and take off and put an autopilot you know and the same thing here you don't just uh, start your engines on on ninja trader and you just put it on autopilot and go to sleep and then expecting to make money that myth that misleading that marketing has created or generated a lot of losses among naive traders or amateur trading and the reality is is you have to look at it you are a pilot you're coming you start your engines with ninja trader you gotta look around you gotta kick the tires you gotta go through your checklist then you fly then you autopilot then you auto trade when you come in at 9 30 in the morning when the market open it's like exactly when the aircraft taken off there is turbulence it's going to be short long short long by 9 40 
the market take one direction this is where you take your seat belt off the same thing in the market I'm referring to an airplanes because I was an aircraft engineer and and what I see there is a lot of combination between those two is different style different job different things but it's the same thing you know you have to do your checklist in the morning before you start your auto trading gentlemen if you don't do that you're hitting a disaster you might brush me off for what I'm saying you might dismiss what I'm saying you are probably saying oh okay well I need an auto trade uh, that I don't need to go through the checklist well what you need and what is the reality there are two different things you know I need a lot of things but it does not mean it's gonna go my wishes I like to trade on a full throttle uh, between Thanksgiving and a Christmas for the last 27 years my wishes never did go through and 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 the the performance between the Thanksgiving and the Christmas is not that great maybe you're gonna have a day or two the market spikes and then dies then the market spikes for 15 minutes and then it dies out the rest of the day that's what I mean it is not really a uh, good performance between Thanksgiving uh, and and uh, and and a Christmas because it spikes and then dies out here's the problem if you are you're not trained your eyes are not trained to the market the market is gonna spike right in front of you and you don't recognize it or the market is gonna die right in front of you you don't recognize it you're auto trading you can be in a hole so gentlemen anything in any kind of business when there is money involved you gotta keep your eye open and you gotta be well trained otherwise you're gonna be lose-lose situation that we are tool providers but we're not miracles again we are tool providers but we cannot make miracles uh, the, the what you do with your tools with your auto trade you are the guy is driving it and um, and uh, you're the guy you need to be trained how to manage your auto trades I want to say thank you very much uh, we wish you a very pleasant day rest of the day and uh, we will see you tomorrow live on the other channel thank you very much and god bless you